So let's create a program on this database table to select the data into work area as well as into internal table. Create. Type of the program is executable program. Now, my requirement is to find phone number of the employee. For that, I'll take uh, one input parameter for employee ID, EMP ID. Type, what is the type of this? Character 10, right? Yeah. What is the type of this field? Character. Char 10. Then the 10. We don't need to use char here. C is enough. Okay? Yes. Next. So we have the input. Next. Write the select statement to select the data from database table. Select. How many records we need to select here? Single record or multiple records? Single employee ID is the input. Here employee ID is the input, right? The employee ID is unique. Select single. Okay. Have we need all the fields? No. We need only phone number, right? M. Select single phone number from what is the table name? Z demo employee. Where? EMP ID equal to this. But where we need to keep that value, what, whatever the phone number value that is selected. For that, we need one data object, right? For that, we need one data object, right? What is a suitable data object here? Variable, work area, or internal table. Work area. Variable. We are selecting only single field. Only right? phone number. We are selecting only single field. A variable is enough. LV underscore phone. What is the type? Check in the table. You should take same type okay. as table. Okay. We should See. not take any type. It should match with the table. Number 10. Phone number is number 10. Okay. Yes, sir. Select single phone number from Z demo employee and the, keep the selected value in into variable. Okay. Instead of work area, I'm using variable here because I have only single record, single yes, value, sir. right? Yes, now. How do you know that select statement is executed successfully? I want to display that output if the select statement is executed successfully. Mm. If your employee ID record is already there with that particular value, how do you know that? For that, if, what is the system variable we can use to check the status? S5 hyphen sub RC equal to zero. What does that mean? Six. Equal to zero means success or failed? Success. Successfully executed. Select statement is successfully executed and select it, it is able to select some value. Okay.
So employee ID 100 is already there, right, in the table. So employee ID 100 is there. I'm providing, I've provided uh, 100 as input and executed the program. Parameter, uh, sorry, employee ID contains uh, 100, value 100. Now we are passing that in the where condition. So we defined uh, LV phone number as a variable, F5. What is the sub RC? What is the sub RC value? Zero. Zero. That means uh, select statement is executed successfully. And uh, what is the value that is uh, uh, copied to LV underscore phone number? The phone Any number. Particular phone number for that employee ID. This one. Yes. Is it the same phone number? What is selected? Yes. yes. Same phone number. So this is the output. Right? A single value as output. Yes, sir. Is everyone clear? I will comment this. Now select single record. How to select single record? For that, what we need to do? Data. Define a work area. So let's assume I am going to select a single record with all the fields. For that, just employee data. For that, we don't need any type structure. We'll take direct table reference, then select single star from mm, into work area name, which is which is already defined, where EMP ID equal to P underscore EMP ID. This is common, output display is common. Uh, here instead of variable use work area to display the output So I've entered some wrong value. 899 is not available in the table. Now what is the sub RC now? 4. 4. That means that select statement is failed. No data selected for this record into work area. Work area is empty. Right? 
that's why we are okay. checking that if statement if it is successful then only display the output okay now how to select the required fields for that what we need to do let me comment this also to select only required fields what we need to do first we need to define type structure so select records with a, select a single record with required fields for that type structure is required begin of data py data employee id c we need to mention lint sir or else we can write uh, 10 in uh, brackets ha ah, you can also write 10 in brackets for example like okay. this phone number 10 yeah but going forward we are not going to use like this we are using concept of data elements okay, okay. Sir. so the data element contains uh, length and everything you can reuse the data element okay sir. now define a work area with reference to the type structure now we are selecting required fields data okay work area data type ty data Data. Now select the uh, data from uh, database table. Select single EMP ID space phone, phone from, from ZDemo employee is the table name into the underscore data where, where EMP ID hundred. So you do, you not only parameter, you can also pass hard coded values like this, 100, like this. Okay. Or any value which is like, you can also pass variables. Okay. Some value you need to pass, but both should be match. Right. The data type, what uh, the data type of employee ID and data type of the parameter should be of both uh, same type. Okay. That is the condition. Okay. Now display the output from uh, work area. We no need to keep full stop for select statement, sir. Huh. Yeah, we are doing it right at the end here. Oh, sir. After completion oh. of the select statement, we are doing. We are. We are okay, okay. Time. But I am breaking the lines. Always remember, don't yes. write your statements in the same line. Just like okay. National Highway. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because in debugging, right, you can't see these lines, in debugger screen. It is not okay. convenient for debugging. So I recommend you to break at least after 70 characters. Now we are at 80, 82nd character, right? You can see here. Yes, this sir. This 82nd uh, column. So at least break after uh, 70, at least 70 or 60. Okay. Yes, sir. I used to break for uh, like this for each statement. Okay. Now test. Define the work area, double click. So, how many fields we have in this work area now? We have only two fields because we defined with reference the type structure, right? Yes, sir. And display the output. Clear? We will comment this. I'll keep the type structure. Top here. Now 
let's select uh, multiple records by using internal table and all fields what we need to use to select all the fields data now to select all the fields what is the symbol we need to use? select star star we need to use to select all the fields right okay. now what we need to select the multiple records we need an internal table first define the internal table for example okay. it this is just a naming convention you can take any name data type type standard table of uh, which one we have to take to select the all fields Z demo. Z demo e employee. E employee. You take complete table reference. Okay. Now write your select statement. Select, select star from. from Z employee. Z demo. Into table. Into table. Table, table is important. Yes. Write your score data. Yeah. Where, for example, city equal to I travel. I'll take like this. Okay. If you take employee ID, since we have only one primary key in employee ID, employee ID is the primary key. It will select only one record into internal table, right? If you take this yes, parameter, sir. but just to show some difference, I'm selecting like I'm not using uh, employee ID, but I'm using city. Okay. Since we have multiple records with uh, Hyderabad, the table, yes, use, use the same value, Hyderabad. Or you can also use date of join. Right? In this table example, you can also use date of join or country. For date of join also, you'll have multiple records. On the same date, yes. multiple employees got joined in the company. Right? Zero. Height. इकड़े एम थी राधा
So how many records we have in this internal table? Three records. City equal to Hyderabad and date of join equal to 12th, uh, sorry, December 1st, 2022. Because we are passing uh, two fields in the where condition, city and uh, date of join. Right? You can pass more fields in the where condition using and or r. You can use and or uh, you can also use r. Okay? Clear? So this is the output where city equal to Hyderabad and date of join equal to this. I'm not using employee ID here in this where condition. Now tell me how to select the required fields. We'll copy as it is. Only required fields. Required fields. So I'll, I'll select only employee ID and phone number. Now what we need to do, instead of this internal table declaration, use dy underscore data. So we already declared here the type structure. We are going to use it here. Now instead of select star, what what I need to use? In the same order. Whatever the order you are following in the type structure, use the fields in the same order. Employee ID. ID and uh, phone. phone. Where city we have, sir? Yeah. Let me comment this. Which one? Yeah, this is already yeah. there, right? Where city? Yes, sir. Just copy and paste it here. But uh, please observe, you cannot define the same internal table name multiple times. Once you defined it, you cannot define again, okay? That's why I commented in the above section. Okay, sir. Activate. employed is not required we're not using it in this example f5 sub r is equal to 0 what is the internal table go to the internal table how many fields we have two fields with three records right yes sir records are three but we selected only two fields all these employees belongs to hyderabad and date of join is uh, december 1st right Clear? Is everyone clear? This is how we are going to select data from database table into variable, work area, or internal table. Okay? We got only employee ID and phone. Yes. Uh, where conditions we can't see on the output screen, right, sir? If you want to see in the output screen, use those fields also, which you want to okay. city and uh, date of join. Okay, sir. Use okay. those fields in the type structure so that uh, they will be displayed. Okay. We are using city and date of join only for condition to filter okay, the data. Sir. We don't we don't need to display it on the screen. Okay. If you want to display it on the screen, make it part we can of define, uh, type structure. We can structure. define and uh, yeah, write here. It's part it's of the type structure. And include uh, those in our selection fields. Select employee ID, phone, city, and DOG also. Yes, sir. In the same order, whatever the order you maintained in uh, type structure. For example, by mistake, if you flip the orders, what will happen? For example, you have defined uh, type structures, employee ID and phone number. But here, when you are using in the select statement, first you used the phone number and next you used uh, employee ID. Then what will happen? Because we have defined uh, as employee data and phone. Yes. Because it is trying to insert employee ID into phone number and mm. phone into employee ID. Yes, sir. If you keep it like this, it will even you see, for, for example, if phone number is character type, right? Oh. It will place employee ID in phone number, phone number in employee ID. It will reverse it. It will work. It, it, you are not going to see any error if the phone number is character type. But what will happen? 
it will place the data incorrectly it will place employee id and phone number field phone number in employee id field right you have to observe that carefully order is important since it is a number type it's thrown the error we got the error but if it is a character type it won't show any error in the program but it will place incorrect data okay simple it will just match with the type structure order and place uh, data one by one okay it's not going to compare uh, field names from the database table field names okay yes sir for example i'll show you i'll take city also here I think we have taken 40, right, for city. See, type 40. Yes. Now, so city is the last field in type structure, but I am using it in the as a first field in the select statement. I'll remove phone number for now, so that you can observe the difference. I'm commenting the phone number. Employee is the first field, city is the second field. Now, here, city is the first field, employee is the second field. I've I've kept only two fields, employee and city, in the type structure. Remove the phone number. Now, here, when I am selecting the data. I changed the order, city and employee ID. Now let's see how it will work. Did I get any syntax error? No syntax errors. Program is activated, but the order is wrong. Check the program. So in place of employee ID, what are the values inserted or selected? City. In place of city, values. Employee ID. Yeah, employee ID. Right. Yes, so you need to observe that uh, difference. You need to use. You need to follow the same order. What you have, what you are using in the type structure. Okay. Okay. Sir. If you have numerical fields, it will uh, display the syntax error, right? But if you don't have numerical fields, if all all of you all the fields are character type, right? It won't show any syntax error, but you'll get the incorrect output. Yes, sir. So please practice uh, this program today. Sorry, uh, tomorrow we'll see advanced option to define work area and internal table. We call them as inline declarations. Okay, and also few other uh, features available in select statements.